Well, the very first novel I ever wrote, which thank goodness was never published, uh, was a fantasy. So I think I've always wanted to write fantasies. Books like The Phantom Tollbooth had been really important to me when I was a kid. And I love middle grade, especially fantasy. Once fantasy gets into adult fantasy, I'm not so interested in. Somehow middle grade fantasy, I have such a connection for. So I always wanted to write fantasy, but I, I would come up with these ideas, and I didn't really like them, and they didn't really go anywhere. And so every year or two, I would look at some, this issue again, and then it wouldn't, it wouldn't go anywhere. But what happened with No Passengers is I started to write in Mouse's voice, the youngest daughter's voice. And I wrote a realistic novel completely uh, for like a chapter book, younger than I normally do, in her voice. And I loved the characters, but the, the plot was kind of boring. And my editor really didn't like and she, us she usually likes my work. So I put it away for about six months, and then I was in between projects, and I brought it out again, and I thought, I am not leaving these characters in the file drawer. I just love them, they, and maybe they weren't coming across in the, on the page enough, but I knew them inside that I could bring them out more. So I thought, well, maybe this is the time to try a fantasy, but I didn't really have an idea for the fantasy. That was the strange part. So I would just, I just thought, well, I'm gonna close the door of my office, and I'm going to write, I'm going to take what I like from this novel that I had started, and then I'm going to go from there. So I took the few chapters that I liked, and I thought, well, I'll just write the next chapter and see what happens, as if it were a fantasy. So I wrote the next chapter, and then I wrote the next chapter, and then pretty soon I was ignoring all my emails. I ignored everything. I just kept writing because it was so exciting. <laughs> I couldn't wait to see what happened. And at some point, I started to realize what I was doing, but I didn't initially even understand what I was writing. So when you read it, you, you think that I had it all figured out before I started, but I didn't. I think that fantasy is very challenging because there are no givens. When you, if you're in a fantasy world, then you don't know how people communicate. You don't know the words necessarily they use, or you know if they write on a piece of paper, you have to rethink everything if you really do it well. And so it requires a huge amount of imagination. And so that, I think, it, it, you know, once, after trying the, the first novel that was fantasy, then I did a realistic, and it was, the realistic was like, oh my gosh, it's like so easy compared to fantasy. But I think I wasn't quite ready to write it, and I, I, I built my skills as an author to the point where I was ready to take on a fantasy.